Now, let's take a look at an example. If you carelessly do division and go about assigning the lower data type to the higher data type, you will see what kind of problems you will encounter. The declaration of data types is the same. All right, this data type is the same for what I used in the previous code, except that I have declared an unsigned int i. So here what I have done is I have tried to divide a lakh by three. Since both are integers, the result is going to be an integer division. But there's a small problem. SH stands for short int. Since short int on this particular machine on the online GDB compiler happens to be two bytes, the maximum capacity for a signed short int is 32,767. But the result of this is 33,000 something. So that number cannot be held in SH. As a consequence, there is an overflow. When it overflows, it goes from a big positive number to a big negative number in this particular case. So this ends up becoming something like 32,203 minus. This negative value gets assigned to int. The same gets assigned to long. Same gets assigned to float, double and the unsigned integer value i. Now with unsigned integer value, what happens is there is nothing called a negative number in unsigned integer. Unsigned data type can only have zero or plus. So what it does is it interprets the negative number which is stored as two's complement as a very huge large number. So when you print the output, you're going to see what the unsigned int is going to really show. So let's try to run this and try to see what the output throws up for us. So once we compile this and we run it, this is how the output is going to look. So if you happen to see here, all right, what has happened here is if you look at this particular line here, all right, in this particular line, when I divide one lakh by three, short has overflowed. That's why it is minus 32,203. That negative value has got copied into int. The same value has got copied into long. The same from long gets copied into float, then moves into double. Now this negative value, when it is tried to printed or be printed as an unsigned integer, there's nothing called negative and unsigned integer. So this two's complement number, negative number is represented in this two's complement happens to show up as a very huge positive number. So when you print i, this is the number you get. So whether you run this on my PC or on this particular machine, you would have got the same result. So I hope this clarifies what happens if an overflow happens and if you are not cautious with your arithmetic operations, that it can lead to unpredictable results. So please exercise caution, exercise caution when you go about trying to do arithmetic on C programming.